Today we're going to be discussing cracked and uncracked concrete. Quite often when I'm talking to contractors or installers, I'm talking about fixings that have option one and option seven as part of their European technical assessment. This relates to whether the fixing can be used in cracked or uncracked concrete. And many people ask me the same question, what do I mean by cracked and uncracked concrete? So in this video, we're gonna be looking at a few playful examples to determine whether we think the concrete may be cracked or may be uncracked. So what we need to do is we need to be thinking about the forces acting on the concrete when the concrete is in its serviceability stage. So for example, if we have our make-believe wall here, and you can see at the moment, I've deliberately left a gap in between the panels. And basically as a wall, if you can imagine the weight will be pushing on the wall and squeezing downwards, you can see the concrete therefore is under compression. Therefore, we would class this as non-cracked concrete because the concrete is actually acting against the fixings that are installed into it. So hypothetically, we could assume that all walls on site are non-cracked concrete. However, this is different for a floor slab. So a horizontal slab will always have weight acting on top, causing a deflection and bending of the slab. And with fixings, we're either fixing to the top surface or the bottom surface. So we need to determine which surface we're fixing to to determine whether it's cracked or uncracked concrete. Now to do that, I have our little friend here, Mr. Maynard, Jelly Baby. And what I'm gonna do is just to imagine that that is the floor slab, and I'm gonna exert a deflection force on top of the slab to deflect the slab, bend the slab, and you can clearly see now that on the bottom of the Jelly Baby, you have the fissures and cracking system, and on top of the Jelly Baby, it's still intact. So on a floor slab, for example, this is the difference between cracked and uncracked. The underside surface, or as we know, the ceiling is cracked and the top surface or the floor is uncracked. So that's using our good friend, Mr. Jelly Baby. We can also demonstrate this using another household food item as a French stick. Now, what I'm gonna do this time round is take a ceiling fixing and I'm gonna insert that into the bottom of the French stick, i.e. our ceiling. And what I'm gonna do is just gently deflect. You can see the fixing starting to slip and fall out. And actually, if you look at the undersurface now of the French stick, you can see all the cracking. And if you look at the top surface, it's still untouched. So again, as a floor slab, this would be classed as our non-cracked concrete zone, and this is our cracked concrete zone. So all ceilings, again, will be classed as cracked concrete. So there we have it, a few light-hearted examples of thinking about cracked and uncracked concrete. Obviously, if you're ever unsure, always check with the structural engineer or the main contractor. <laughs> 